Today on our 2017 Toyota 4Runner, we're going to be installing Tecanchus Prodigy P3 Trailer Brake Controller, part number 90195. And in conjunction with that, we'll be using Tecanchus Custom Wiring Adapter for Trailer Brake Controllers, part number 3041-P. This brake controller is going to be a great way to control whatever's hauling behind you from pushing your vehicle. It's going to make it feel safer going down the road. It's going to make it easier on you to drive. It's going to cause less fatigue and it's going to keep everything that's back in your trailer from jarring around as much when you're stopping. Compared to other brake controllers offered by Takancha, this is going to be the most premium model. It's going to have the most intricate LCD display with the most features as far as boost, its proportional settings, as well as memory settings for different trailers. Located at the bottom of your brake controller, you'll have a manual slider that will allow you to apply your brakes in an emergency situation or if you just want to hold your brakes. You can adjust the output setting using the up and down arrows here. You have a boost option. This allows the brakes to be more sensitive depending on the weight of your trailer. Boost 1 is going to be for your lighter trailers. Boost 2 is going to be for your medium weight trailers. And boost 3 is going to be for your heavy weight trailers. To simplify those boost settings further, Boost setting one is for when the trailer weighs less than your vehicle, two is for when it weighs approximately the same, and three is for when it weighs more. You can also set it off if you don't want those additional boost settings. You can temporarily cancel the boost and put it in reverse mode by depressing the brake pedal and holding the boost button. You can see here that we're in reverse, and this temporarily removes our boost, making it easier to back up our trailer more naturally. Throughout the menu, you have display settings where you can change the look, the brightness. You can change the brake type for whatever your vehicle may have, whether it be electric or electric over hydraulic. You can get some more options. And additionally, any of the settings you may have chosen there, you can hold down your boost button without pressing the brake pedal, and it'll open up your memory select menu, where you can choose up to five different save trailer settings if you have multiple trailers. We'll begin by locating our factory brake controller wiring harness on our vehicle. That's going to be located just to the left and up from your parking brake pedal. You'll find your connector here. It's going to be taped up along this harness here, so we'll just use our razor blade knife. We're just going to kind of slip down there gently to release it from that tape. We'll plug our Takancha brake controller harness into our factory connector here. And now we can install our brake controller and route our wiring over to it. We'll now need to find an appropriate location for your brake controller that's out of the way. We're going to be mounting ours in about this position here on the right side of our steering column. So once you've got it lined up, we're going to go ahead and pull our brake controller out of the way while still holding our bracket in place. And we'll run some screws that come with our kit right through those holes into our bracket. We'll now use the same screws we used to run it, our bracket, into our paneling here to go into the bracket that holds our brake controller and we'll tighten those down with a quarter inch wrench. We'll now plug in our brake controller connector into our brake controller. And then we can route our wiring up out of the way from our pedals. You can just zip tie that up out of the way. Now we can use a quarter inch socket, a self-tapping screw, and run our ground wire. We're going to run that into the bracket here, just above our DLC connector. And we'll zip tie that wiring up out of the way as well. We've now plugged in our tester to verify everything's working properly, so we'll use our manual slider on the bottom. And as you can see, we've got our voltage back on our tester. And that completes our installation of Tecanchus Prodigy P3 Trailer Brake Controller on our 2017 Toyota 4Runner.